Hi, this is David with entry number 294, possibly 95. I don't know, I messed up the number yesterday, I admit that. I said 94, but it was 93, so I'm pretty sure it's 94 today, <laughs> but I'm not sure. Um, well, thanks for watching. This is this is being recorded on Monday evening at about 6 o'clock, as always. On uh, on a nice rainy day, it was. Excuse me for one sec. It was pretty rainy for the whole day, um, but it was on and off showers, as they say. Um, cool weather, but still relatively warm. Uh, I had the window closed in the class, and then I had to open it because, yeah, the kids were complaining. One thing about the the Korean kids, especially boys, um, is that they're very open to complaint. I found. They're very easily um, annoyed or upset by things. And the boys, it's just because they're spoiled, rotten. Um, similar to how China and le a lot, much less extent Japan, but boys here are treated very differently than girls. Um, this country's very, it's sexist, but beyond sexist, it's um, misogynistic. Um, men are vaulted while women are subjugated. Um, it's definitely sexist. Like, when you come here, it's a strange thing to see. Um, a lot of men take physical ownership. Uh, when they show public displays of affection, they're very hands-on, and their body language is very closed. Um, whereas in the US, if you put your hand on someone's shoulder, it's pretty common for it to kind of rest open, the palm open, you know, like, <laughs> like this, kind of. Um, in Korea, it's always closed. It's always, and it's always like wrapped beyond just the shoulder. It's like over here, and it's like ownership. Um, I see a lot of common. Another common thing is men to put their their hands around a woman's neck and hold her there. Um, and you know, they're not meant as as you know threatening um, physical touches, but they're meant as they're indirectly meant as, like, this is mine, it's not yours, and you're not going to get away from me. You know, it's a very physical lot of just showing that you own this person, that this person belongs to you. Um, so it's, that's a little strange. Um, you know, I'm, whatever, I get a little more dressed up than most people, so I think um, but the behavior may not be for everyone, but I've noticed that around me at least there's definitely a, a little bit more of a sense of aggression or maybe agitation than there is for the typical, maybe for the, maybe for the typical person, but that's just my experience. Your uh, results may vary, as they say. Um, class today went pretty well. My co-teacher is going to be here every day of the week except for Tuesday because Tuesday is obviously school holiday, but she'll be here for Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Normally she's just here for three days of the week, and so this time should be for four. Um, I also learned that next week, on Wednesday, it's another school holiday, but instead of if no one going to school, we're all going on a field trip to the local ice rink, so that should be interesting. Um, I don't really want to ice skate because I'm terrible at it, but we'll see. Um, it's going to be all freaking day, which is kind of scary, like from 9 to 5 or 9 to 4. So yeah, that's a long day of just ice skating, like that seems kind of boring to me, honestly. So, um, but you know, it means I don't have to uh, go in and teach and I get just to have fun with the kids, so it should be good. Um, anyway, um, things here are good though. Um, I'm digging the weather, I'm digging my day off tomorrow, it's going to be awesome. And I'm pretty happy with, uh, with everything, so. Um, cooking rice, I'm about to make my dinner, and um, that's about it. I know it's not too exciting, but uh, like I said, not every day is an exciting day, but every day is a story. So, thanks for watching. This has been entry number 294, and I will talk with you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.